Raiders. Welcome to Weather with Whitaker. Let's see what's going on in the weather world. Taking a look at the surface analysis map, you'll see a cold front draping its way across New York State. May spark a few snow showers. I think most of that will stay out of our area, but wouldn't be surprised to see a sprinkle or a flurry as that front drops through. I think for us, that we'll mostly just see an increase in cloud cover and a drop in our temperatures. You'll notice when we get to the five day forecast that the overnight lows are going to drop back a bit as well as our daytime highs. Let's talk about a question of the week. This comes from one of my viewers in Florida. Thank you so much for writing in. The question is, where does the name of the full moons come from? It's sort of interesting. The last full moon we had was about a week ago. It was called the Beaver Moon. A lot of these names come from different cultural and agricultural sort of experiences in our past cultures. Uh, and so like the Beaver Moon is when it starts to get cold and people notice an uptick in beaver behavior. They think this is where it comes from. Um, and they would work together sticks and mud and different pieces of wood to reinforce their dams for the winter time. You'll see some other examples of some full moons here. We have the wolf moon in January. You'll see the pink moon in April as spring starts to approach. And of course, we have the flower moon coming in May when we see, start to see the flowers bloom. The sturgeon moon in August is an interesting one. That was a time when the sturgeon fish were a lot more active. And so they believed that during that time period, uh, cultures would be doing a lot more fishing. And uh, going into the fall time, you'll see the harvest moon. It is said that during the harvest moon in September, that farmers would use that full moonlight to help them gather crops well into the evening time, even though the daytime was shorter. So very interesting question. Thank you so much for asking it. If you have any questions, do send them in. I have a couple uh, lined up and I would be happy to get to yours if you have them as well. All right, let's take a look at your five day forecast and see what's going on in this first full week of December. Again, for your Tuesday, that cold front will be working its way across the state. For us, again, I think it'll just mostly be cloud cover increasing, especially in the afternoon. May see some peaks of sun this morning. Highs will be in the low 40s. For Wednesday, look for mostly cloudy skies as that cold front is stubborn to clear. You'll notice that drop in temperatures high will be in the mid to upper 30s and lows will be in the upper 20s in the morning on Wednesday. For Thursday, look for partly cloudy skies, highs again in the upper 30s. For Friday, a mix of sun and clouds, highs in the mid 40s. And then for the weekend, we're tracking a system that looks like it's moving through on Saturday or Sunday. Right now, the latest models have it holding off until Sunday, but I've been seeing it going back and forth. So we'll just have to see our temperatures on Saturday. Look, looks like it'll be in the 40s and that system coming in for uh, Sunday looks to be a rain system at this point. So no forecasted snow yet, but it is still very early in the season. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you back here in a couple of weeks.